there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. With its godlike, dazzling golden beams, its discovery in Jin Sha, Su Chuan, came like a bolt from the blue, a sudden flash of lightning, momentarily lighting up a long lost world, one buried in the depths of time for 3,000 years. It's strange, mystical birds dancing and flying before our very eyes. Less than 13 centimeters across and barely a fifth of a millimeter thick, this sliver of gold somehow embodies the light of life, the gleaming glory of the sun itself. The essence of the world's five ancient civilizations condensed into a piece of gold small enough to fit in the palm of a hand. But what does it mean? Some believe the swirling fireball is the sun god and the four birds his messengers, the four cardinal directions. Others, meanwhile, believe that the four birds are carrying the fireball, the sun, around the sun, as described in early Chinese mythology. Others still interpret the four birds as the passage of the four seasons, with the 12 sunbeams being the months of the year. Thus, what we have here is literally a microcosm, a depiction of the universe as seen by an ancient, almost forgotten people, the Shu people. Living in what is now Sichuan, the Shu people had to contend with a changing environment and a changeable climate. For them, it was especially important to understand the sun, to have a relationship with it. And that, most likely, is why artifacts like these were created. More than depictions of the world, the world they could see, hear and feel. They symbolized a higher, deeper reality, one that governed their everyday existence. What all these eyes and birds actually do is symbolize the holy, all-sustaining power of a god, the sun. And what better material to portray that symbol than by using a metal that gleams with a luster as strong as the sun itself, gold. This is where the sun, an immortal bird gold ornament, was discovered. Archaeologists believe that here, 3,000 years ago, along the banks of the river, people of the Shu culture performed sacrificial rites in honor of the sun. It's a belief supported by the evidence. Nine square-shaped holes, probably made for the pillars that supported the sacrificial altar, and pits containing what would have been valuable treasure, ivory, deer antlers, boar tusks, jade objects, and gold. Treasure intended not for human beings, but freely given as gifts to nature herself. Of course, the beliefs that sustain these rites and ceremonies have long been forgotten. So from our modern vantage point, it's impossible to decode true real meaning of this mysterious talisman with its sun and bird motifs. All we can say for sure is that this delicate sliver of burnished gold with its phoenix-like dancing birds is lasting testimony to a very important fact. 3,000 years ago, a now forgotten people lived and struggled here, just like us, another people under the sun.